Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. We're gonna get started with the second stage. I've, uh, scooted myself back a little bit. Well now, listen up, listen up. Things Hopefully that helps with the calibration. Turn, and I'm the first to admit that we need things corrected. Now, there's just one more thing. Don't be alarmed. You've inhaled a gas. And while there's no harm in it, there is one little side effect. You may start to see things that aren't really there. Which is why I hesitate to bestow upon you this kind of firepower. But you'll need some protection. The psycho who's done it is still at large, so I advise you to move on. To be yeah! Now we get the double barrels. And this whole thing with, with Josh and the gas and the way that ties in is great because it gives them an, an excuse to start really making some some surreal and bizarre and, and quite frightening, disturbing imagery. Because you can play it off as, oh, it's hallucinogenic effects of this gas that you've inhaled. So you have a kind of uh, narrative, conte uh, narrative context for why things are going to start to become a whole lot more strange. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Yeah, and of course the pig imagery is so strong in this. Look, I think this is where the game really starts to build ahead of steam. That's not right wrist. What are you doing there? Oh, it's so unpleasant. It's like I can never tell how it play how it plays for an audience doing this. But seeing this stuff like an inch in front of your face is so sh Oh, God. It's so... It's almost impossible to put into words. It's almost impossible to, to frame for you if you're not actually in it. If you haven't... If you haven't tried VR before, I don't really know how... How to convey this sense of presence to you. Like, what it feels like to be present in this, as opposed to... I love these double barrels, as opposed to just watch somebody else experience it passively. Because every time I step into something VR, it's just like this jaw-dropping magical thing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and remember that part in Until Dawn uh, with the dollhouse? Oh, shit. <sighs> Damn. Oh, God. Get. Yeah, I really think it, it, the, the second stage is where it comes into its own. Holy shit! Oh, and we're still, like, it's still oriented like you're going down. I think that's cool, being able to look down and see your own legs. 
Oh, shit. Like, my body just wants to lean naturally. Oh shit, this again. Not that again. <laughs> Get some more ammo for those. Okay. I think I got hit twice. Oh shit, forgot about you. Holy hell. Oh, that's it? I thought that stage was longer. Let's just do another. Okay. Like, inside the, the... Oh, God. Hey! <laughs> like, inside the, uh, the headset, my eyes are just constantly wide. <laughs> it's so cool. Hell yeah, continue. Oh, man. Put this off. <clears throat> Into the heart of darkness. I think this is the last stage I played during Halloween. I think we went to the end of stage three. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, I lost my my double barrels. Fuck. Fuck. Where is Jacques? Where is Jacques? Dormez-vous? Dormez-vous? <clears throat> oh, you know what? I haven't had an issue with fogging up, either. Also, I'm noticing this is presenting a new challenge. Because the sense of presence and immersion is so... ...great... ...in VR. I think I'm forgetting to talk. <laughs> oh man, that's a thing I'm gonna have to overcome. <laughs> Maybe it's fine, I don't know. It is kind of a horror game. It's like an unreal horror game. That actually blends the two really well. Like, I actually find this to be... Oh yeah, the deers. Can't remember if I had to shoot... <laughs> Couldn't remember if I had to shoot her or not. I actually find this to be a uh, slightly better as a horror game than Until Dawn. Until Dawn was an awesome little self-contained narrative. It was uh, very good as that kind of interactive experience. Oh shit, the birds. Right. Um, and it was it was a good like homage to slasher movies. Like it was it it succeeded really well at almost all the things it was trying to be. Um, but as a horror game, I think I like Rush of Blood a lot better, actually. Even if it's mostly imagery and... Imagery and jump scares. I think the scares there are really good. Like, it gives you the thing that you want. Shit. Which is like, it's the same kind of cheap scares, cheap thrills that you go to a haunted house for. You get that here. You get that really, really well.
like a turtle retreating back and like shell. Crap, crap. Shit, was I supposed to shoot that? And it's like, it might look like gimmicks, but it's get They're gimmicks done, essentially, I think I'm supposed to be shooting those even though there's no target. Uh, they're gimmicks done so perfectly. Oh, I'm back to my regular handgun because I'm I, I ran out of ammo. I think I'm getting low on ammo for uh this one. Also, I can't emphasize enough how nice this looks. I think you guys are getting a lower resolution image than what I'm getting in the headset, which is kind of a shame. Because I don't think the video actually does the image quality justice. I think I was mentioning that during the Holy shit! during the RE7 video. <laughs> God. Yeah, I've forgotten where a lot of these things pop up. And I think there's a special kind of dread in knowing that a jump scare is coming, but you don't know exactly when or when they're going to fake you out. Damn. What is this? The ma oh, yeah. It's like a Magnum or a six shooter or something. It's really, really strong. Oh, another one. Okay, now I got them in both hands. Oh shit. Oh man, I missed twice, it's really bad. Very good. Think I'm okay? Oh, I hit the mic. Yeah, Magnum and a six shooter? Alright, a uh, double barrel? Fuck. Oh. Probably shouldn't be wasting too much ammo. I think I'm almost out with this. Okay, good. They're giving me plenty of weapons. Plenty of powerful weapons at that. Damn. Sorry. Gotta stop doing that. I, I'm trying not to waste ammo shooting the pigs, but those targets, they're so... They pop out you at you and you just want to shoot them. Um. Crap. I don't know. I hope this comes across even a fraction as cool for a viewer as it does for the dude experiencing this vis-a-vis uh, -vis me. Oh, oh, God. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. Ba 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 da 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 ba. Now that's stuck. It's gonna be stuck in my head all day now. Usually with horror games, you get like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or uh, the really, I think the most common one is Ring Around the Rosie because of the implications. Even though Ring Around the Rosie in actuality is not about the Black Plague, even though everybody thinks it is. I really like the uh, the change up here using Freya Jaka. Let me just point the guns in both directions and keep co both covered. 
Oh man, oh no, I don't like this. Okay. So far, so good. Oh. Uh... Oh my god, that was so good. That's so good. That's actually the best. That's the best fake out. Uh... Oh, and this is the inside of the sanitarium. So we are in the same general setting with the same uh, motifs, the same uh, recurring visual imagery, and some elements of Until Dawn, but it only feels really loosely connected, which is fine, it's a spin-off. Oh man. Oh man, oh god damn it. I hope these are not like weeping angels. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. That could have gone way worse. That could have been much, much worse. Oh hey, my multiplier is going down. Because I'm not shooting stuff. That's okay. We don't care too much about the ranking in this first playthrough. Okay, we're done getting hit by pottery. We're done getting hit with the Linux. We're done with that forever. Never again. Never again shall I be assailed by vases. There's gonna be like million of them right as the door opens. It's gonna be like that scene in Indigo Prophecy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I needed both of those. It was getting low on that ammo. So to celebrate, we'll shoot those TVs out. Okay. I don't like that buckhead. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Uh, I don't remember it in totality. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot it yet or just wait. This was, uh, was this I was supposed to shoot the tentacles or something? Yeah, here we go. Ah, God, fire. Holy hell, he still managed to hit me through all that? I could use another double barrel. That'd be- Oh yeah, oh crap, 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 hit it!
Oh man, we're getting there. I just need to unload. Yeah, I think we got it. That was pretty cool. <laughs> we didn't get the secret. Oh no. Ah. Still got B. Pretty good. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.